One of the important steps in evaluating any intracardiac shunt, including uh, VSD, is determining the type of the shunt. Is the left to right or right to left? Because right to left is the irreversible situation of the uh, shunt that uh, we call it Eisenmenger syndrome, and unfortunately, we cannot do anything. For that purpose, we can do in the color Doppler, just we uh, freeze it and we go frame by frame from early systole to the end, the ostole. And we can see on this case, at the early systole, we have left to right, but at mid systole, late systole, and early diostole, and the diostole, we have right to left shunt. But the color is not too much accurate, doesn't give us too much information. The most important is Doppler. Doppler, we go on the view that has a parallel to the jet, on this case, PZAX. When we do continuous, as you can see here, we have bidirectional uh, shunt. First, at the early systole here, we have left right shunt, but at the mid to the end of the systole here, and the diastole here, we have right to left shunt so is almost is very as early not very at it is at early stage of the development eisenmenger syndrome this in this situation we can repair it and based on the other finding there is a hope we can uh, prevent from uh, progressing of the pulmonary hypertension and uh, the eisenmenger syndrome is on the location of the shunt. In this case, apical window is the best for measuring the diameter of the defect, as you can see here on the four or five or apical tree or even sometime off axis. So we get longitudinal uh, resolution, highest one, and we can measure it with zoom in and uh, measuring the diameter of the defect. The next time, have a wonderful time.